What is that? Enigma? Or is that Enya? Whoa. Whoa. No street talking here, homies. <laughs> Fucking guys suck. I hate. I hate all of you. <laughs> hey everybody, and welcome to episode 171 of the Not for Human Consumption podcast. The Dylan just went hard in the paint. Weeder boy, weekly update on all things. Mm-hmm. I'm your host Matt. And with good. me is a uh, went hard in the paint on all the weeder things, Dylan. No, I'm good. <laughs> I'm not even that high. <laughs> and would and with me as always is would rather be drinking on his back porch, Jay. Yeah. Hi guys, I got one question to ask. Where the fuck are so, stimmies? Uh, we're still stimulus. What, well, Stimmy. you're what? You're you're six hundred. The six hundred. There's another you gotta one. Put it on, you got to put it on your taxes. No. There's there's a section on there now for unclaimed stimmies. No. There is. Not for the the one that they haven't passed yet. My yeah, that, that'll be like the end of March, the, the fourteen hundred dollar one. My you didn't get your second one, Matt. No. They, they, oh, they, you go online, and it's there. It'll guide you through your taxes. You have to add it on there as a I, tax credit. I think my you, fucking previous tax years attached to a fucking retard, and it's gonna get all eaten up because of her dumb bullshit. Ah. You might get more as a married couple. Ah, no. Well, have you done your new taxes yet? No. Okay, so wait till if, your wait wait to, <laughs> wait till the big D is over, and then file single. What if you owe taxes? Are they like, you don't get a stimulus, bitch? Fuck you. Because guess who always owes? No, no, they're not. So they're <laughs> so actually that's funny because there's uh it's real there's funny. all these things about people that owe taxes or child support or all that stuff that didn't get the first round of stimmies mm -hmm. but the second one they're all exempt from that they're getting stimmies mm. i got that stimmy so long ago i don't even remember what i spent it on the 600 bucks yeah holy shit i was one of no cody from more roast mortem was one of the last people to get the 1200 he like just got that so he's gonna get the 600 in like 2048 Dude, I straight up can't remember what I spent on. <laughs> it was that. It was I like. Thought you bought, I out. thought you brought your V. Uh, bought your V drums. No, no, I've been paying <laughs> those off for a year. Like I, those are on payments. Yeah, he bought those to be oh. in that band that never practiced. Yeah. Damn. Good job. <laughs> God, damn. That's the silence. Dude, I real. think I think one of my old bands is gonna release a song. Stupid. Oh, the Cruffix band. Yeah. They, yeah, I think I th think they're releasing a song. I don't know if I had part in it or not. Guess who's Maybe. guess who's the recording engineer that's not excited about it at all but needs money? Jeff. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there's yeah, you can just throw mm. his name out there, I guess, if you want to. I don't know, I guess. Is it Jeff? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> See, <laughs> now it's now it seems like you're the one that admitted it, not me. Oh that's damn it! Oh, he's playing Wow. See? I you think I'm real stoned. He, I'm he, just comfortable, that's all. You're at that you're at that smart level of stoned right now. Yeah. Dil Dylan's out here playing four D chess, everybody. You guys don't even know, boy. There's <laughs> Dylan's about to be dick dirt. Oh man, Woodfoot and chat last week in uh, in the Discord throughout the week from from uh now that I can do this with my voice. And Jay just sounds like that. He wants to just have a whole episode of Jay and I just sexually assaulting Dylan. Everybody. Oh, Dylan? Yeah, just easy. Dylan. Because I guess we easy. did it for a little bit on the last episode. <laughs> Fucking easy. Dylan, let me eat your pussy, Dylan. Oh. <laughs> let, me, let, me, let me get your nussy. Let me get him that tushy, Dylan. <laughs> tushy. That's right next to your pussy. Oh, what if we just, what if Jay and I just eat Dylan's pussy, like, right now? <laughs> let, me, let me open up your, hey, Dylan, hey, Dylan, let me, let me open up what? your onesie, let me open up your onesie flap, you get in there. <laughs> his onesie, onesie flap, dude, and his only line of defense is to rub his feet on the carpet real quick and shock yeah, him away. To zap, zap my dome. <laughs> Ow, my pee hole. Oh, <laughs> it was no. moist, so it was worse. <laughs> <laughs> static electric shock charge it, just, it just smells like hole. hot pre-cum <laughs> that's I don't know if that episode title will fly but I'm gonna write it I down I think this episode's <laughs> happening at me <laughs> it is at you hot pre <laughs>
comes and I, opens I'll the calm title. down. I said I would take it easy when the show started. Okay, dude, no, dude, think, like, it, the less I have to do tonight, the better. So just fucking take it. Why? Well, so I need you to do things in order for that to work, though. <laughs> yeah, home, home Slice said that episode called "The Road to Release." Just me. Hey, Dylan. Yeah. <laughs> Pull your fucking dick out, Dylan. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Hey, right. hey, 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 brother. You ever had your, <laughs> you ever had your pre-cum zapped? <laughs> Jay slides up behind your whole back and just into your ears like, "Hey, brother." Oh, oh see, just the vibration alone fucking, would get something oh, going. Fucking, he's, his fucking onesie suit is a homemade taser. <laughs> you, you guys still talking? What's going on? Stop listening. About five minutes ago, we're talking to each other. I know. We're having a great time, Dylan. A blast. Me too. Yeah. I'm like a I'm like a Discord listener right now. Hell there you yeah. go. <laughs> I'm like I'm like that time when Jason actually accidentally unmuted himself in the middle of the show. <laughs> <Just eating chips. laughs> um, yeah. So how apparently we have a guest. <laughs> <laughs> so um, Dylan, how's your COVID yeah. kid? Is he better? He's good. He's actually like finally back to eating. Yeah, and he's like. Good. I think he's good now. That sounds like a bad superhero sidekick. What? Co- COVID, COVID kid? kid. <laughs> <laughs> Cough on him, COVID kid. <laughs> oh, the adventures of the COVID kid. <laughs> Fucking. What if, my, what if he becomes a superhero because like he got super sick and like could be that was the superpowers. And I'm gonna have a COVID kid that's just fucking flying around. <laughs> COVID Koofing. kid and Koof man. <laughs> COVID kid and Koof man. Yeah, how's your Koof since you had to watch his ass? I don't have Koof. I don't okay. get Koof. Okay. That's the closest okay. it's ever been to your uh, your face. Bro, it was inside my home. It was fucking right there. Didn't get it. <sighs> but I wore two masks. Oh, that's cool. And and sprayed fucking. <laughs> You're all like walking in the pocket. room. Pocket Wolf sprayed the house. I just imagine him with. <laughs> I just imagine with two cans of Lysol with Slim Jim's pinched under his pinkies, like. When he says he him. sprayed the house, when he says he sprayed the house, I picture him on all fours with just a leg hunched up, hitting the corners of the, of the walls, just. Coof man and no. COVID kid. <laughs> COVID the kid. <laughs> COVID kid. No, it's a Western. No, it's COVID the kid. Yeah. COVID the kid. <laughs> well, I'm glad he's doing better, dude. He didn't even get a coof version, and we've been calling it a coof since last March. <laughs> yeah, he Showdown at the not okay wreck. corral. <laughs> dude, I don't even know how many days he went without eating. It was many. <clears throat> I had a client that had the same version of your kids, but he was in his 60s, and he didn't eat for eight days, and I think your kid was close. Yeah, he was like six or seven days. Yeah, he like, like, tie- he like tied it or was like one under. <laughs> Ugh. Shit's fucking scary, but he seems to be good. Detached wrist in his own little flesh bag, just not Dude, eating. Yeah, like <laughs> the whole time his fucking arms just broken in half. It's weird. I don't know. Fuck. I only had him for like eight hours on Saturday, and he's been quarantined away from me. Yeah. She didn't even want to bring him over that day, but it just like had to happen. So she's like, just throw him out back. Put some. Put a bowl of water out. It'll be fine. God. I hear vitamin D helps the fucking coof. Well, it's not even a coof. He's a, an <coughs> oof. Because he oofed all the food out oh. of him anytime he ate. You hear that? That's yeah. a wee oof. Oh. Dylan just <laughs> coughed live on the show after he watched the co- COVID the kid. Yeah, but you guys saw me hit the bong. <laughs> after right discussing he's been show. around his kid for eight hours, they had COVID. Mm, I don't that know. Was, guys. That was a week ago. <laughs> I didn't get COVID. It's true. Yeah. You were so confident in it, you went on a date. I did. Twice. <laughs> did she know? Did she days. know the hour spread? Maybe. Did, did you give her a heads up? I didn't. No, I oh. didn't. I. I it's fucking irresponsible. <laughs> I didn't have the coof. <laughs> what do you mean? He didn't. In his defense, he didn't. Look at him. Yeah, but she don't know that. <laughs> well, she has it now, so whatever. <laughs> Dylan's all lick this. But yeah. I How'd it go? How'd they I do? realized that uh, I I broke my no drinking for the first date. That's and funny. I got pretty for a pretty woman. hammered, pretty really hammered on accident. <laughs> like three beers. What like, were the beers? Fuck my day. Uh, two kilt lifters and then a giant fucking. Blue those, are, moon. 
Those are strong. All those beers yeah. are strong, and one was like two beers because it's a giant thing. In yeah. a short amount of time, I get it. And then I smoked the craziest weed <laughs> that she had. Yeah. And it fucking, like, I was flying so high. I haven't been that high in a very, very long time. How? And she sent you home. And then I just went home, yeah. <laughs> there was, what, what was so different about this weed? I don't know. It was just fucking really good. I don't know. It, I don't, I, maybe it had drugs, other drugs in it. <laughs> she tried to dose you. <laughs> she maybe dosed me. How did you dose weed? I don't know. She could just like sprinkle cocaine on it, I guess. I don't know. Or or Keith. So you got extra high. She fucking nah, moon rocked you. I think it's just moon rocked. <laughs> just yeah. some really really good. I think that last double beer fucking threw it over the top for you. Maybe. You don't but, drink, you don't you're not a big drinker. I'm not. I don't. And like before that, what I had like a shot a Friday night. Like I don't know, I don't drink, so I don't have like a tolerance. But and our shot glasses are kind of pussy at the actual uh, place. Your pussy. That's <laughs> like, too much. We pour little pussy shots. Dylan had one. He's like, that's enough. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's how you just said that is what it. <laughs> yeah, that's how it feels. I don't feel that way about you, Dylan. But I no, didn't so, know man. I was saying the shots. You take shots. No, I don't take big shots. Big boy. No, I don't like he's shots. He's a big boy, and he takes shot with the guys <laughs> and the fellas on a Friday night. He's a big boy. He's <laughs> a big yeah. boy, Dylan. <laughs> I just snorted twice. I hate my whole face right now. <laughs> I, I would take shots with the with the guys. <laughs> so anyway, I went I went out with her again uh, yesterday. Yeah. And we got tacos, and I didn't drink. Where'd you go? Where'd you go though? Taco I can't Bell. Remember the, no, I can't oh, yeah. remember the name of the place. It was Del fucking Taco. expensive. Oh. For, it was expensive for three goddamn tacos. Where was it at? Uh, Peoria. Like the was whole it, fucking. Was it Brush Fire? No, it was like right by the fucking uh, sports complex, 83rd oh. Avenue. It's like a newer spot. It used to be like a Texas Is kind it? of spot, and now it's a Mexican food place. Oh, I don't know. Okay. It was really fucking good, but it was pricey. So Valley Luna. No. Valley Luna is the shit. Um I have a good authority. I don't know if Mexican food's a good like date location in case something like transpires <laughs> yeah. there. Uh, I mean I, <laughs> we were supposed to go to a bar. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> she could I fart back and... she could fart she could get a fart bubble back up through her pussy lips. See, you gotta dude, be careful. That's where the hand towel comes into play. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It doesn't that's matter. how you fart in a hand towel. That's yeah, Jay's dude. fucking Nothing MO. Was, Nothing was going to happen anyway. You don't matter. know. We that. were gonna go to a bar, and then she's like, "I'm too hungover," because she like parties all the time. It seems. Uh oh. That's never good. But she, like, she's she, like a, she's like a waitress at a pizza place. So it's like the. the that's bar, like your bartender, dream woman, dude. Bartender life. I know. That's but probably no. where you met her. <laughs> Serves him a so, slice of pie, and he's like, "The sober up, date." Girl? I wasn't really into it. I think I just thought she was cooler when I was drunk. You had beer goggles? How about you serve me those other no. pepperonis? <laughs> I'm gonna, I think I'm her gonna nipples. tell her that I'm not I'm not into it. Really? Yeah. Is that enough what to... She... How long was the second date, though? Uh, a couple hours. Oh, okay. I that's... smoked more of her crazy weed, though, without beer. Still crazy. Okay, so that's confirmed crazy beer. Yeah, the weed was really good. Apparently she's older than Dylan, too. Yeah, How much like older, beer. Dylan? He likes some young. Yeah. <laughs> oh, fucking old hag. One year. <laughs> <laughs> this old stupid fucking cunt being fucking older than me. Fuck. AARP's just right around the corner. <laughs> I'm not. Yeah, you know, it was fine. I'm just, you could buy your she's, tennis she's, balls for a walker, Dylan. Like every Christmas. She's an okay person to like hang out with or whatever, but I'm just not feeling the. Uh, <laughs> we go back to her place, and she's like, "Give me a back massage." You're like, "All right." She's all here. Use this, and it's just a tube of asper cream. Yeah, and as she pops <laughs> a word, bio trees. She's like, get into those old sore muscles. I got the rheumatoid. <laughs> as she pops a Werther's original into his mouth, all sexy in slow motion. <laughs> so, would you like a piece of candy? And it's like the old ribbon candy where you go to take one out of the bowl and the whole bowl comes up. No, it's the one that looks like a strawberry in the wrapper. <laughs> yeah, with the fucking jelly in the middle. Oh, those are the fucking worst. <laughs> Uh, what old 
what old woman candy do you guys like? 4806. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ew. Ew. I don't like the way you phrased that. What old woman candy do you like? What kind of old woman candy do you like? Oh. <laughs> I could go for a Werther's original. It's like it's a Dude, it's a time honored classic. They fucking make them in shoes now. Like Dude, the shoes are the Werther. best ones. He would know he just got one. <laughs> <laughs> the outside of them are like kind of crunchy though. It's like it's like a little shell. So yeah, those old. are the best. <laughs> it sounds like it's been out too long. <laughs> I want one of those right now. I got the munchies so fucking bad right now. I like how we made you hit hit how, your how how much rip did you bong? <laughs> Oh no, he's going again! Was... Keep going, bud. Yeah, brother. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, you can you can see. Should this. I not deep? <laughs> should I not deep voice talk to you while you're ripping your bong? What if he yeah, deep throat his bong? Rip it, <laughs> man, I probably shouldn't shouldn't do that on camera. Nah. Eh. Why? I get fired from this new channel. Now show. you're worried. Oh, he's worried about... I forgot I just started a new Yeah, job. yeah. Let's get into that. <laughs> <laughs> Freshly ripped. Yeah. I quit my fucking job. Fuck those cunts. You put a poll in our fucking dumb little chat of everybody that hangs out, and you're like, should I quit my job? And it was like, hell yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Like, should I quit my job right now? Yeah, yeah, it was right now, but all the all the votes were like, yes. You just yeah. phrased in different ways of saying yes. <laughs> see, how, one. see how important everybody is? Like, Dylan makes life decisions <laughs> <laughs> that could possibly be detrimental to him based upon the NFHC <laughs> public yeah, crowd, cool. whatever. Like, <laughs> should I quit my job immediately? Fuck yeah, bro. <laughs> okay. Oh, I just put it in our group chat. I didn't put it in the yeah, group fuck group. That's, yeah. well, I, don't trust, I don't trust those fucking heathens. <laughs> <laughs> They're the best heathens. I even just got off of probation and got put back on probation like within a day. Yeah. <laughs> we have to approve all of his goddamn posts because he's fucking. <laughs> I like how we're mostly awake, like on all times, like between the three of us and a couple other mods that we he he's always approved within minutes. Yeah, the he, longest he one was an wait. hour. The longest one was an hour. So, I know that one was only because it wasn't very good. <laughs> all right, all right, man. Oh, you're just fucking slipping, bud. Uh, his face, yeah. The Facebook group you can find it on our website and facebookpodcast.com. Yeah, we have many places. I'm, I, I'm automatically approved on my post now. Before it had to be approved by some by a moderator on the <laughs> NFHC group for that old ass meme. I fucking won that one too. I won the exact same one that I won before that they hit me for again. So I got a double win on the same one I got dinged on twice. Yeah, the COVID. Whoa, the that's co the hottest thing you've ever said. Oh. Uh, <laughs> From your co from your COVID denial meme that was a joke to prove yeah, that anybody some fake can say Swedish anything. Dude. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah, he's not a real fucking scientist. Yeah, it was a good joke. It was a good joke, and you got banned twice. So. Yeah, I actually came across the original in my phone <laughs> the other day. I'm like, oh, <laughs> hey, this is Jay's claim to fame in the fucking social right? medias that he's new to as of a year and a half. Dude, I'm Do you ever coming think, up, bro? You ever think when you win those that somebody at Facebook was like? Oh, yeah, man. I just want to let you know I saw it. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's, sorry we had to go through this. I just wanted to let you know that it's a good one, bro. He I can't. My, bo my boss was behind me, and he was looking over my... I had to do it, man. I'm sorry. It was a good meme, but I had to fucking... I had, I had, to, I had to challenge it. He can't laugh react it, so he has to make like a button press way for you to know he knows. Yeah. yeah. I get it. That's just your guy at Facebook letting you know he's <laughs> I've listening. Got, I've got a guy. <laughs> yeah. he's, he's got He's got me. <laughs> Randy, fucking it's Randy yeah. at Facebook, my guy. Yeah, it's Philip. Philip. <laughs> Philip. So anyway, how's your new job? New job is amazing. It's the same work. Ho I've only been on, there for two days. And it's hold on, amazing. backtrack. I want you to backtrack to your <laughs> your your uh, your back and forth with the uh, iPad. <laughs> <laughs> my, uh, I'm not giving them their iPad until they give me my money. <laughs> and they're not giving my giving me the money until I give them the iPad thing that we had <laughs> for a couple days. Really, I didn't know this. Yeah. I gotta scroll up. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I gave it back to him. They're lucky. Well, and they were so ready for him to quit that 
when he responded on the <laughs> on the text or whatever to quitting, they immediately changed his they cut his email off. Yeah. My email like, was cut off before I got to my car. <laughs> it kept me- popping up on my phone to like re-enter my password and oh. like there was nowhere to enter it anymore. It said not authenticated. That means it was sitting it was sitting open on a second monitor to the right, just like, is this motherfucker gonna quit today? Dude, I don't even think they have an <laughs> IT guy, so like <laughs> Fucking, s- fucking Stan and HR was ready. Yeah, dude. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just waiting on the word. All right, Stan, s- cut him. Stan. <laughs> I got kind of fucked in the whole process a little bit. Cause you fucked them over by lying to them. No, 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 no. Getting no. your kid the coof broken arm. No, no, not that company. I don't give a fuck about them. Oh, okay. Oh, the new one. Yeah, the new. One. Well, so. Cause you brought COVID to them. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> There's no COVID. Dude. <laughs> a gift I'm, before I part. The area of town that I'm working in, they don't have masks anymore. Nobody wears them anywhere over there. It's fucking weird. Don't yeah. go to Chandler. Um. Well, the no. Ma- masks uh, are done in Chandler. Our governor today, everything's open now. Everything's good. 100% capacity. Did they mm-hmm. drop mask mandates? I think so. They, yeah, they. So what happened was it expired. <laughs> the, the, uh, and he didn't. Re- the, and he didn't. The renew. mandate and everything it, that Nifty. was set in place. Oh, mandate! Expired. I love that term. So it all. <laughs> I mean, it's it like alleviates it. all of the blame. Yeah. Just it's like, well, the date's done now. Yeah. So yeah. Mandate. That means it's not my fault. That means movie yeah. theaters are open. The three of us can have a mandate and go on a, go to a movie. Yeah, dude. And maybe we'll movie theaters. And maybe I, we'll die later. I wonder if they finally got the <laughs> sticky off the floors. No. They had a rough time. In, <laughs> in movie theaters, you know what I mean? They're yeah. like fly traps for Koof. They used to Just be everybody used to be afraid of bed bugs in the theaters here. Ugh. Mm-hmm. Dude, why do people am. go to fucking movie theaters? That's disgusting. Because I, I wanna see movies. They yeah, have the but... ones at the AMC where you could like lean the fuck back. Oh, so the bed bugs. I, ha- I have the same thing it's, in my house. It's it's leather. Yeah. The bed bugs are like, oh, this is fucking. I can't go high to movie. quality <laughs> shit over here. I can't go Hell to a movie yeah. theater. There's a bed bug just chilling back with his feet up, like watching fucking. Avengers. I can't go to the theater and watch the movie with no shirt on, like I can at home. You're just you are so shirtless, dude. When Alan first came over to our one house that we rented together, Jay, and surprise, he's like, "Who's that dude that just body butters himself in the bathroom constantly?" Dude, best skin in the house. <laughs> yeah, you did have My the best. My skin is fucking moist. <laughs> so, I'm so moisturized. <laughs> Hella hydrated. You body butter all the time, or what? Dude, I, I, I dude, I coat <laughs> my shit from head to fucking toe in cocoa butter. Still to this day. That's why I'm almost 42 years old and I look, my skin looks fucking great. <laughs> not a fucking pimple, not a motherfucking thing. You I are, got, you, I got, I got that good skin. You are the eternal hot one, so. I found I that old. I if I, sh- I shave, <laughs> if I shave my beard right now, <clears throat> I'd probably look younger than fucking Skit. Mm, for the spaghetti, dude? <laughs> yeah. I got a baby ass face. I found a picture of me today too. It's seventeen. Then you guys could be stepbrothers. Stepbrothers? Mm, I don't like that <laughs> scenario. Stepbrother born. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna write that down. Spe- stepbrother born. <laughs> stepbrothers is an episode title, possibly. <laughs> um. <laughs> yeah, but seriously, it fucking killed me because we just played games all night. Then the next day, Alan called me. He's like, "Who's that guy that was just cocoa buttering his whole body with the door open?" <laughs> I was like, that's Jay. Because he fucking wanted some. <laughs> he wanted to help. He's all... <sighs> An essence of Jay. Hell yeah, dude. That's a good episode title. <laughs> <laughs> An essence of Jay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep writing the things. I still, I have... I, the exact same shit I used back then is sitting in my bathroom right now. Really? Shoot yourself off with it. <laughs> My no, dick's dude. like fucking 14 right now, man. I'm not going to waste that on my penis. It Do goes it right on now. my elbows. Do it right now. <laughs> Stand yeah, up. Sh- I was like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're the uh, one that had your dick pressed against the camera and didn't fucking... <laughs> didn't, didn't actually pull the fucker out. Oh, that's true. You fucked up. So... I totally found that old picture of Jay playing a show today. I don't know. I don't know your age what? bracket right here, dude. Playing a show. Yeah, with PhD, man. 
pretty heavy, duh. Nuts. <laughs> that was one of them. I'm going to put it in the fucking live show chat and Dylan what? can throw it Is up. Is this the one when I was in the newspaper? Yeah. Uh, yeah, with fucking Smythe and all them hoes, dude. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that that photo got me kicked out of the band. Really? Because <laughs> they used that. <laughs> or was, was so it that sweaty. one? Well, it's shows good. are sweaty, dude. I don't know what to tell you, Dylan. Bro, have you ever exploded fucking discs in your neck from playing like a fucking madman on stage <laughs> for 16 years? Yeah, I'm sweaty. You're fucking What's... brave wearing that white button up. No, that was the show. That was when I played the double show with them and Brick with uh, FPE. That's right. That's right. That's right. No. That's right. I don't know. <laughs> How old do you think you are right there? 19. 19? Yeah. There's a 19 year old Maynard right there. Fucking. See? The forever hot one. Look at you. All fresh, yeah, cocoa buttered, cocoa buttered from the tip of your pinky toe to the top of your fucking widow's peak, dude. Fuck yeah, bro. Slaying. <laughs> you can see that on YouTube.com. No, it, was, it, it, was, it, was, it was a similar picture. <laughs> uh, when I played with PhD, it was uh, for New Year's, turning 2000. <laughs> and uh, the cover of the rep was the singer Kevin and then you see me kind of in the background and then you open up and it was the center deal and they were talking about the show and it's a similar picture like that <laughs> but it's my silhouette with those same blue lights yeah and it just talks about me oh because it was just the picture right <laughs> not like that I was the band like it was all this picture band, this J bass player PhD whatever and then the next show I was supposed to play with them was with snot and kitty and oh yeah and um, I can't remember who else at Club Rio. And on my way to the show, they're like, "Yeah, we don't need you." I'm like, "What the fuck?" Is that when I'm, Kenny? I'm on my way. So wait, did Kenny replace you, or did you replace Kenny? I replaced Kenny. Then Kenny came back. Oh, uh, okay. That's, but that's... I wasn't supposed to be part of it. I was still doing brick. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Convoluted story. No, that dude. Their, their singers. Um... A giant piece of shit, and it's probably why our studio got broken into. But what is that? Could that's, be. That's all it Bands are dumb. Well, I mean, he did yeah. get arrested in due time for stealing gear. So, <laughs> what do I know? Allegedly. Allegedly. But anyway, I thought that was kind of fun. Yeah, because everybody was reminiscing yeah. about that that cover coming out today, and I found the thread and I was scrolling through it. I was like, "Holy shit, this is a blast from the there's Jay." <laughs> that's, that's how I. That's like literally my whole thought process today. <laughs> I was hey, I was well sought after bass player. What can I say? You're good. I was. Now your your beard just touches the it gets tangled in the strings. Your fingers don't work. You're yeah. really mean to Dylan. Like I, I don't know. It's true. He's really good at it. <laughs> He's really good at. Bass I know. Player. I have to be good at something. <laughs> I can't play bass anymore. So Dylan, your new job. It's it's all it's all uh. It's all it's all good. I've only been there two days, but um, in the two days I've been there, it's been pretty cool. So you got we'll a nice see. text on your way out. Yeah, just the, my our boss just texts the whole crew. Hey, hey guys, team! <laughs> you guys did a, you guys did a great job this week and have a nice restful weekend. I'm like, oh shit, that's so much so much different than the what I'm used to. <laughs> Dylan's gonna show up Monday and be like, what? What do you want? Yeah. What do you why are, what is the text what does that mean? <laughs> Have a good weekend? What are you trying to say? Are, are you, you trying to get me? me? Yeah. Yeah, cuz he's so jaded from his last job. Oh yeah. Are you being sarcastic? Is like that is that like a fuck you like I'm not doing a good job? <laughs> what so, do you mean? The thing the thing that like worked in my favor this week is that my resume seems like I'm full of shit. So mm. like when then I have to be like, no, I, I am the shit, oh, and then I do really good work. Fuck. But also, I'm a shithead. <laughs> uh, uh, so they were, I think they were pretty wrong. happy. They were pretty happy with the progress that was made in the two days yeah. that I've been there. Yeah, and you made a TikTok in the middle of it at Slam. I made a TikTok <laughs> of my work. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna make a part two of it. Cable porn. When I, when, yeah, yeah I, I told him how, how he braided his cables. I told him, or you could get a job in Cancun doing mm. hair. Cancun. He made perfect know. braids. <laughs> He's braiding the cable. <laughs> Bro, they're cigarette packed, not braided. Okay. Oh, that, that's what that's called when you make a cable? Sorry, I don't know the job. <laughs> <laughs> they were bundled nicely. 
They were bundled nice. <laughs> Dude, sick bundle, bro. <laughs> so now that, that like that, I, I got a, like a bunch of not a bunch, but like quite a few more followers from that TikTok. Yeah, you wanna? You I, know, I TikToked okay, I think. You know, you know, bundle my cable. What a weird fucking site that is. Uh, we're we're late to the game on it, but I think we're gonna be okay. It's gonna be fun. I posted a picture of my. <laughs> my old crab dancing to music I put behind Wait, it. Wait, that was you? I didn't even look at it. I didn't yeah. know who that was. <laughs> Bro, within like an hour, I had like 300 views. <laughs> I didn't like, even see that one. My I, phone was not working today. It's super generic. <laughs> like, I just grabbed music from like the iPhone, like when you can do like Wait a movie. Wait a minute. But the crab kind of jumps in timing with the music. <laughs> it does. And, and I, all of a sudden people are like, I'm vibing with this crab. <laughs> Did Jay just make a viral fucking TikTok on accident? I scro- like- I was just scrolling and I didn't look at. Who- I don't look who posts anything. I'm like, that's cool. That's cool. Yeah. I told, I told Jen. S- I-, <laughs> I told Jen. I was like, <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, I should probably post my crap because I have another one too where I'm totally talking like Mr. Krabs because he's in the in the fish tank. There's a skeleton with a an old fucking timey uh, like pirate ship uh, steering yeah, yeah, wheel. Yeah, yeah. And the crab's climbing up, and I'm all, <laughs> hand over the steering wheel, I've got this, boy. <laughs> Jay's and fucking like perfect for TikTok. <laughs> yeah. Dude, we need to market Jay on TikTok. No, right, we're marketing I'm you, not. bro. No, you just film it, me and Dylan will put it together, and then I don't film know how what? you... I have nothing to film. We'll the make cr- up skits, dude. The, you crab's, you just, the crab's the dead. You, yeah, the, the crab's dead. Just, the crab my, lives my on! Is over. <laughs> my gimmick was over before it started, because the crab's dead. Yeah, but you do silly voices and things. But you that know? crab, like, dude, people like that shit. It was an epic-looking crab. He was on top of all of his shit in the aquarium, and he was just like, "Yeah, bitch." Yeah, it's like he was like speaking to somebody outside the fucking <laughs> outside the aquarium. He's like, "Come and take me." <laughs> all right, Jay, listen to me. On the next, time I didn't that know that was you when I saw it. I laughed my yeah, ass off me. at it. That's awesome. Yeah, his name <laughs> is Mr. Krabs. On your next talk. That's not the next goals, boys. <laughs> Listen to me, this is important. Okay, let's go. On your, on your next talk that uh-huh. you make, oh, you uh-huh. gotta make sure that you put captions so that people can see like what you're saying in the very beginning so that they like stop to watch it. And then you use the most trending whatever's trending in like the sound, like music stuff, you put that over it. And so you'll and you'll fucking hashtag get hashtag crabs. <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Pinch your nuts. I, <laughs> See, remember when I said I didn't want to get a fucking TikTok because I didn't want to learn a new thing? Oh, you've learned a and new thing. And then I get a TikTok, and then I started, like, diving deep into this bullshit and, like, trying to figure out the algorithms. And yeah. Al-, Al Gore's rhythms are getting this fucking... We're going to get yeah. in there. Yeah. Uh, you know what I should have done? Uh, I think it was yesterday. I went out to have a SIG at work. <laughs> And they're doing construction right across the street. And I walk out to have a cigarette and I just watched a construction worker check his shoulder over his shoulders and then just start pissing in a bush. <laughs> <laughs> I should have recorded that. <laughs> yes. Like he's like See, yeah, and, and like you can do like a voice against the wall in the bush and he's just all <laughs> I should have been all Hey! <laughs> All right, Jay. Listen, this is what I have an idea. <laughs> Hear me out. We'll do like just random oh. whatever weird shit happening in videos, just like of people, <laughs> like kind of like the Michael Rappaport ones with the cat, you know, where he's like, yeah. "There's that fucking cat," where he's like doing yeah. a voiceover <laughs> over the thing, and you'll just do fucking silly voiceovers. We'll have over to these it. videos, I can't ad lib that shit. I Bullshit, suck. dude! You can fucking you, you just react to what's going on yeah. and you just talk shit. You're hilarious. You have the voice for TikTok, dude. Yeah, brother. And we'll move it away from your account into a more you know NFHC style account, so that yeah. we all benefit from oh. it, not just you. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna I, fucking hey, face though. We're gonna. Well, I'm, men- I'm mentoring you right now. <laughs> we're gonna exploit I, you. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Come on, just you know what? Just step into my office. <laughs> Because I'm hired? Yeah, because Dylan's going to quit this job soon. Because <laughs> I'm fucking hired. Dude, I, I, like this, cow me? I like this job a lot, but not that much. You know, like... It's a you have a job. backup plan. <laughs> it, yeah, it's and you it's on TikTok. Yeah. 
<laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm being cash cowed right now. Yeah, we're 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 getting in there. We're gonna finally feel about that. We're gonna tap that fucking. Deep, I'm gonna that, talk traffic you, bro. Oh no. We're gonna tap that deep fucking <laughs> ore of Vaynerd and just fucking get in on yeah. you and fucking make some cash, boy. Well, fucking Dylan traffic me. Yeah. Then then like four months from now we're gonna be selling ads for fucking leggings on TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like you and them, because that's everything they sell for some reason. I just need to find one minute inside clips. of a dresser. We need one minute clips of the show. Yeah, and I can fucking make a fucking little fucking tick tickTockaroos of the fucking a, a little tick-tock-a-roo. things. TikTokaroos. TikTokaroos. Yeah. You, Look, whatever here's the, the thing. That has if you're going to do these things and like <laughs> clip out of this, don't let me know you're going to do it because then I'll freeze. I'll oh, be, no, no, no. You know when you like, you're not oh. try, you're trying to be funny and you don't, you're not oh, funny. Yeah, yeah. No, that you know would be I mean? like if we were like making skits. No, like I'm when saying, Dylan tries I'm to gonna... think about jokes to tell and they just, <laughs> they flop. It, like if it comes out naturally, then it's usually funny. No, he's not thinking. Is that he's a rosé? <laughs> yeah, what are you drinking, dude? <laughs> It's a little uh, cherry it's seven a, up. It's a blush. <laughs> that cherry seven up looks sexy as fuck on the camera. It's a cabbie so savvy. <laughs> it's delicious. It's a little white. I've zin-y. never seen cherry is, is seven that a up. White, is that a white zin? It's got antioxidants in it. <laughs> cherry seven up has nothing. I'm not good anti in it. anything. Bullshit. It's good for you. <laughs> Said so on the, of the, fucking, of the bottle. I'm pro oxidants. I'm pro I'm not anti anything. <laughs> I don't have the coof, so it's probably the cherry seven up. Oh man, it's all the, the people weed. that refuse to wear masks in a fucking circle K. They're like, I'm pro oxidant. Cherry seven up <laughs> tastes like sick. <laughs> it does. It tastes like, like somebody I could, spilled robotus in a seven up. I've been cherry seven up so much being sick. <laughs> yeah, like it's great. slight flavor and it's good for your tum tum. Yeah, so I drink well, it all the time, so my tum tum never hurts, dude. But when <laughs> I drink it, <laughs> but when I drink it as an adult. <laughs> It just tastes like a, me being a sick child. Dude. Listen, <laughs> RC Cola or whoever owns you, if you're listening, Cherry 7 Up is delicious. And if you would like to sponsor the show, uh, we'll 480 788 7330. Give us a call. You know, leave a voicemail. Give us a contact Dude, number. If we'll RC Cola owns them, I want a fucking unlimited supply of Cherry RC. Dude, that's, it is. It's just, I think it's Khalil. Khalil. That's, the, that's who bottles it. It's not oh, I thought that's who made the fucking AK. bottle by the good guys at Khalil. Well, Seven Up and RC are the same shit. <laughs> no, one's a they Cola are. and one isn't. Uh, but it's the same company. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. We're back on food gotcha. facts. <laughs> it's like so, you know how there's Coca Cola and Pepsi. Yeah. Uh-huh. Well, then there's f- the fucking small business owner that's getting crushed by them <laughs> called RC R- Cola. You're, talk- you're talking about Royal Crown. Royal Crown. That's what RC stands for. That's the company. Yeah, this shit tastes like. Shit! So your mouth. So we should. Cherry Seven Up is delicious. So we should mix Crown Royal with Royal, Royal Crown. Yes, probably. Hell yeah, dude! It's like a fuck you crown, up. Crown and Pepsi. <laughs> this should be like a drinking game. Drink Crown Royal and Royal Crown until you can't say it right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm already there. That's the drinking game. <laughs> yeah. Crown yeah, Royal, we- Royal Crown. Oh, all, all of right. us would lose. You say it, and then you do a shot of that mixed together, yeah. and then you keep doing it until you fucking until your tongue's don't retarded. Say it right. Yeah. 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 <laughs> royal, royal crown, crown. <laughs> when you or whatever Metallica said. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So now that the state's open, we can just go drink that in public with no yeah, mask on. We're not even going to die from it. It's yeah, good yeah. luck getting RC at a place. <laughs> They're like what? <laughs> can't wait. Bullshit. Can't wait. RC's better than Pepsi. I'll I'll st- I'll die on the hill mm-hmm. right now. I'm gonna celebrate by putting my tongue on the handle of an escalator. Man, I tried to get <laughs> sponsored by by Cherry Seven Up, but I still talk shit about the actual company the whole time. That didn't work. Jay's no. onto something though. How it tastes like sick. Because it does. I, I have coworkers that can't drink Cherry Seven Up or ginger ale or watch Cheers. They make fun of me for watching Cheers. Like that's the, what happens when you just stay home sick when you're little, dude. And same with fucking Bob, Bob Ross, dude. <laughs> the, joy of, the fucking joy of painting. It's like I'm not sick. I really <laughs> am not into it. <laughs> that you have I don't to stay get home. Sick. I don't know. Yeah, you, you Tom Brady'd your kid and didn't even get the coof. 
<laughs> no. <laughs> oh, okay. I, I don't know. You're you're hanging out with your kid and you're worried about him. I was trying to. I was he passionately open mouthed kissed. <laughs> no, I was no. trying to say that Dylan <laughs> no. cares about his offspring and was taking care of him. I wouldn't. I don't know what. I, Tom, is Tom Brady? I held the no. tongue. Hold. I held the tongue back. Is is Tom Brady known for something with his kid? <laughs> yeah, we yeah, watched dude. the video no, I, on this oh, show. I got Matt, it. Matt, on the show we watched it. <laughs> on this tongue show, punches his kid's mouth box. Matt, no. I I got him. A uh, way back when we I had this know, segment you called fucking... "Hey, Look at This," and we used to look at videos that people would send us, and someone sent us one of I Tom know, Brady. That's, that's why, yeah, four-letter F word. That's why I said it. Jay, I don't think he's getting it. Oh it's my six. god, he flipped it on me. This <laughs> son of a bitch. Anyway, <laughs> it's six. <laughs> <laughs> what? So Tom Brady tongue punches his kid's fart box. Whatever. That's no mouth box. <laughs> it's his mouth box. It's a totally different story. <laughs> his butthole has nothing to do with it. Wouldn't Allegedly. It be a, wouldn't it be a burp, yeah. a burp box? Burp. burp. It'd just be his mouth box. He tongue punched his mouth box. <laughs> It's teeth. I'll write his, that down as an episode title in the in the the, the competition. His fucking teeth chest. <laughs> his fucking teeth labes. Whatever you were saying last well, week. Oh. He plays for he plays for the Buccaneers. They're pirates, so like a chest. <laughs> Get it? Oh. <laughs> Tongue punch his mouth box. Oh. Got it. I don't know how I'd Photoshop the art for that. <laughs> he tongue punches his son's mouth lades. <laughs> you, just, you just get that. You get the screen cap of uh That's so gross. Of him kissing his kid on the lips. And yeah. that, no, I don't want that on our episode art. That's where it comes from. I don't want that. <laughs> Levy has made sound stupid. Oh his, god, his kid. You have to listen to 170. You have to listen to all of them on nf18podcast.com. Yeah. Oh, Matty J says Dylan is essentially drinking a Shirley Temple. Yeah. Isn't that what you get? I got a freak. Yeah. When Yeah, Shirley Temple's the Sprite and you put like cherries in it. And then you got a Roy Rogers where it's Coke and you put (laughs) cherries in it. A Roy Rogers. Roy Rogers. I got a free drink from from a stand-up live when we went and saw Kill Tony there because I was a designated driver. I think I was the designated driver. <laughs> I got a free yeah, they, soda pop. They got a free. Here, it was. Bro, you could have one, bro. Here's hey, a go, young man. How about a sarsaparilla? It was Jen or me that was the designated driver, but we got a free cup out of it and a card for two free shows, and then the whole world stopped being a thing. So I have two free shows to a club that's probably not there anymore. No, it's still there. They do shows all the time. Really? I get free tickets in the in my email oh. like once a week. Or please time. come, please come do our show. <laughs> Can you please? I want to go see Kill Tony again and all have fun. And it was a good night. Yeah, it just came here. Did it? Yeah, we just missed it. Fuck. I think I miss. I I don't know if the, my favorite part was their performance and all the other comedians' performance, or if it was Dylan. <laughs> Having a panic attack every time they were reaching their hand into the bowl for the people that signed up to do two minutes of stand up. I reached my hand into a bowl way too much before we got there too. Yeah. So I was uh I was so high in anxiety ridden that it would have been <laughs> a bad time. Uh, that works. Checks out. Yeah, whatever. It would have been funny for you. Jay would love that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then you're like, I signed you up too, and I was like, What? I'll just, I'll just sit here. What are you gonna do? Like, <laughs> what are you gonna take my birthday away? No, like I'm just sitting here. Then then we'll go to somebody else. And then that fucking dorky kid killed it. So Matt what? walks out of there and is fucking. He's like, I don't know when I was born. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, those crazy bastards did it. I've lost my age birthday. before, where I'm like, how? Wait, how old am I turning? And I have to literally go from 1979 and count on my fingers nice. until I get to where my 99, age. That was, nine, that was 19. Yeah, yeah. Damn, you're old. Holy shit, bro. Um, pull up I the took abacus. four of my fingers and then some. I might have just had a stroke. I don't know that's, how we got to this part. That's weird. <laughs> you're anyway. one, two, three. man. You're more than this fingers. <laughs> Right. That was, that's Dylan's math just now. Your skin is fl- <laughs> your skin is flawless for your age, Jay. Because he cocoa I butters. I'm about f- to be. I'm about to be 42 years old, man. Jesus Christ! You're older Think than me. That. You're I'm not even 24 yet. 
You fucking cunt. <laughs> I forget Dylan's age all the time. I think he's forever 31. That's a, that's a worse store in the mall for dudes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> forever 31. <laughs> it's just like all the shit you wanted in your 20s that you can afford now. <laughs> yeah. It's a bunch of clothes you shouldn't have bought. It's the guy's version of Forever to oh, Dude, stupid. that's not a bad idea. Yeah? We could make an online store and just sell rad electronics and fucking <laughs> gaming PC. Pe- Dude, like, if we, sell, if like we start age, a store we can get that the video sells card? gaming PC, yeah, like we can yeah. fucking get the cards. Because mm-hmm. Forever 31 would be like... <laughs> it would be like... <clears throat> it's clothes that like... Because you know that thirty-one-year-old age is like when you kind of want to start dressing like an adult. Mm-hmm. You it's know what I mean? Wearing skinny jeans, I think. Yeah, like your pants kind of go where they're supposed to, and like you know, you try not to have stupid shit on your shirts, you know. <laughs> but this store, yeah, I stopped like, wearing band you, shirts. You you hold on to that, and you're like. You have one shirt with a stupid graphic on it, then just like a plain one, and you can make a decision because you're an adult. <laughs> it's reversible. <laughs> yeah, reversible shirts, dude. There's no tag or seams. I get it. Yeah. yeah. And then one side's got some fucking Nintendo controller, and then the other side is just like a nice mm-hmm. looking shirt. Yeah. Instead of skinny jeans, they're like slightly tighter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're slightly they're tighter like jeans. Five o two and a half. <laughs> Almost snugs. Yeah. Instead of slim fit, it's slightly, yeah. slightly. They still have room. Damn it. Levi's. <laughs> You're going to need this extra space soon. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All I know is the reason I said Forever 31 is we were shitting on Dylan's age once in one of the podcasts. He goes, I'm 31. <laughs> so now he's just stuck there for me because he, he, like, he uh, I yelled it. He exclaimed <laughs> that he was 31 at one point. So it's like. I don't know. I don't know how many people fucking <laughs> rear up about that one. <laughs> Thirty one. <laughs> it's like zero milestone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it happens, brother. Yeah, cute. you're still cute. He's cute. Look at him. You need if dude if he cocoa buttered, he'd look like five years younger though. I'm telling you, man, cocoa butter is fucking the nature's fucking fountain of youth wait a minute how old are you now dylan <laughs> 33 you fucking ass liar dude <laughs> I am. i'll be 34 in, uh, this year oh so you are all right so if i if i did the math correctly then he was 31 two years ago mm-hmm. <laughs> sounds about right yeah you know it's just math people <clears throat> That's when he was in. I went to yeah, art school. Was, I went to art school, by the way. I don't know. It was like right towards the end of. of they didn't make you take prerequisites. They did make me take prerequisites, and I almost failed out of the whole goddamn thing because I basically just. Because uh, of math. I just I col I color on the screen all day. <laughs> I like some blue over here. And some, you know, a planet smashing into Earth over here and fucking. Uh, <laughs> This thing's fucking sick. I'll put a like, fucking what? sick and I'm gonna hide a you dick did, in the fucking corner. You did have sh- you did have a planet smashing phase you went through where a lot of your stuff was planet smashing. Because I things. wanted everything to fucking die. <laughs> I'm not even kidding, dude. Like everything I'm only was the some planet's demise. Yeah, when you get gaslit since 2014 in a marriage, you're, it's, <laughs> shit feels weird for a while. I'm imagining you're living on this planet and I'm fucking destroying it. You get an A. Thanks! <laughs> <laughs> uh, dude, when I was even little, I got sent to the fucking counselor so many times for my my heart. My art was all just get shit getting decimated and things ending. Yeah. And then I just, then I continued to learn how to monetize it into my older um, 31-ness. <laughs> yeah. Forever 31. Yeah, Forever 31. At an FHC podcast? <laughs> You're forever 30. I'm on my 10th anniversary of my 31st birthday. Spaghetti? Not you. <laughs> You're still fucking 16 yeah. or whatever. Yeah. Sweet You're not even going to. The, the, the world's not even going to be around by the time you hit 21. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, buddy. It wasn't us, it was our parents. Yeah. By the time he's 21, they're going to raise the legal drinking age to like 28. Yeah. But he's gonna be in the war. Oh, that's the. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna be a veteran. Oh, <laughs> uh, they brought the draft back, dude. Oh. You're gonna be able to get discounts at Denny's. 
<laughs> As spaghetti traverse the rubble of Forever 31's. <laughs> Stupid. Ow. Ow. The War of Forever 31. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's like, you know. The, I remember. It's the Battle of the Bulge. This I is remember. the wreckage of our dude store that failed. I remember. When the war starts. Well, it would just be an online store. Dude, nobody's making store stores. Like yeah, that. man, I remember the war. <laughs> Maybe the cyber remember war. like it was yesterday, the War of Forever 31. Changed my life forever, man. I was the pinned. I was pinned. army. <laughs> How old were you? Nineteen. I was stuck. But I was pinned down between the racks of slightly fucking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was pinned between blank shirts. And Dude, I have an idea. Pitties, <laughs> skinny jeans and Dockers. I, I just I didn't know what to do, man. It was it was heavy. You couldn't make a decision I between I was Dockers the, and I was dickies? in the shit, man. I was in the shit. <laughs> Ah, this is kneel down one time. You know those little, you know those little <laughs> pins that they put in the, you know, keep the collar down. It fucking went right into my knee, man. I have an idea. Let me grip. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. So the TikTok <laughs> challenge. Oh. And and we get everyone. We're doing Dylan's TikTok challenge right now. Yeah. <laughs> we convince well, everyone to like. Storm the Capitol. I don't know where that sounds like. Where'd it go? Oh my God, it's That's so loud. Not fucking, I that's know. Not loud. Yeah, what is this? The loudest. It's thing fucked I've ever up. Heard. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh my God. Wow. That was your. Can we f- edit that? <laughs> no, that was your fucking. Yeah, that was your hype track. <laughs> the window was behind to, everything. You just fucking <laughs> took the wind right out of the sails on that. Yeah, man, like <laughs> get in there, Dylan. We'll talk about it next show. No, it's my Dylan's TikTok challenge it's to Dil- get people to storm the Capitol wasn't very funny after, oh, after no. the loud noises. So I saved it? <laughs> Which Capitol? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> So a capital like like which one do you think we could get them to do like their own? I don't know, man. They already like, did it. And well, it I know, failed. but like, but like, if it's a TikTok challenge, the fucking millennials will be like, yeah, but that's okay because it's TikTok. Yeah, I mean, if you start it though, good good th- good thing about that is you you'll you'll skirt the indictment. I won't get impeached. Yeah. Hmm. Do we spend so much money to not impeach him again? Or no, he did get know. impeached, but then nothing happened. So yeah, he did, he's not. Yeah. I saw uh, I saw somebody dancing on a video like spent thirty one million to impeach and do nothing. Could have went to fucking <laughs> businesses. <laughs> do you think if we stormed capitals and demanded our stimmies, that would be an honorable way to do it? No. It's like, well, this isn't about like some election thing. This is like, give me our fucking money. Give it a fuck of that. Fuck. This is a stick about? up, actually. This is <laughs> so like, what the fuck? Yeah, uh, stick cut, up your local government. Uh, on the same lane, on the challenge. Sa- real quick, on the same lane as that, ca- as storming the Capitol. What I thought, I thought about this today, was that all those people that stormed the Capitol for Donald Trump are now felons. Federal, they're, they're it's a federal crime and it was yeah. a felonious crime, and now they can't vote anymore. Yeah, yeah. It was a conspiracy so because to take. That, it was a conspiracy to take away their guns and to <laughs> take away their voting, and, yeah. it's, and it worked, brother. It was Antifa. <laughs> yeah, they're gonna feel real shitty when they're like, "Well, fuck, man, I did all that for him. Now I can't fucking vote for the guy." God damn it! You know what's cool? They always make Antifa sound like fucking so smart. We're like. Antifa went out of their way to look like Trump supporters. <laughs> so like, like, damn, dude, Antifa's the shit. That's a like tough masters, sell. Masters of disguise. Yeah. What, well, like, <laughs> like that Plain shitty clothes. movie where it's like turtle, yeah. turtle, turtle, yeah, turtle, yeah. <laughs> turtle. <laughs> the movie is hilariously terrible. Master of disguise. <laughs> <laughs> so bad, but. Let's make Dylan watch that to return to Dylan's shitty movie reviews. I've seen oh, that God. one. That one's fucking... That's... You've seen that. <laughs> that... Dude, fine, bro. I've seen it. Yeah, dude. Like, turtle guy. That quick, I, turtle. Yeah, dude. Fucking who I, has it? I really? Did. Was it Dana I Carvey? You, <laughs> yeah, that's I the did. one you're like, yeah, bro. Of course I've seen it. <laughs> I dated some dumb girl who thought that Dana Carvey was the fucking funniest person oh, on the planet. Yeah. And I'm like, this is fucking not good. And he's just sitting there all... <laughs> it's insane. Turtle, turtle. Yeah. Forrest Gump. Never heard of it. Master Disguise. Fuck yeah, bro. Actually, Forrest seen it like Gump. like three times. Forrest Gump is one of his favorite movies. Yeah, I know. I've seen, I've, I've seen Forrest Gump, bro. It's a joke. 
It wasn't because... a good one, Jay. How does it feel? <laughs> how does it feel? That's how you treated I, me. All I, day it's funny today. to me though, so I don't give a shit. That's you see? That's how it works. I know it's funny. You're just being an asshole. <laughs> oh did you ever think about the repercussions of that, Dylan? Yes. Yeah. The reaper that. The reaper. <laughs> The Reaper ram you, ramifications of that, Dylan. <laughs> Fucking got you, dude. Oh, no. I don't know what day I was born anymore. <laughs> Jay took my birthday. Oh, uh, holy shit. Birthdays can be taken away. Yeah. Canceled. He's forever 31. Yeah. Look at him. Stout. Imagine if hey. Dylan, Dylan... It's not too late to Cocoa Butter, Dylan. Maybe. Hey, you know. know what? You know, you know what they're canceling next, what? by the way? What's that? What's that? The Jeep Cherokee. Why? Because I had one. Cherokee. Oh, well, I threw a rod through the whole motor, so I... Good. <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> Fuck me over. In, the, in, yeah. in, in an intersection. Yeah, Fuck Jeep Cherokee's thing. getting canceled because it's called Cherokee. Oh. Well, I mean, are the owners of Jeep Native Americans? I don't know. I don't fucking know. <laughs> I don't kind of a dumb know. question. Well, I'm going to probably <laughs> go ahead and say I bet they're not. So, therefore... Okay. That's probably why. Eh, or the times. Yeah, man. Oh, yeah. Well, they also took Mr. Oh, they... Potato Head's dick away. Yeah, yeah. Canceled some Dr. Seuss's. No. no they did that that's themselves, not what happened. dude. Dr. Seuss did it. <laughs> God damn it, Jay. <laughs> <laughs> they canceled some Dr. Seuss's. No, Dr. Seuss's family was like, hey, these six books are kind of shitty. Uh, we're going to just take these off the shelves because this doesn't represent. He wrote like, like 150 was. books because they're only who like they five to say who he represents. Like, apparently, they uh. are the ones that are in charge of his books so they could do whatever they want. There's like a hundred. It wasn't, it wasn't people. It wasn't people telling them that they needed to do it. They were just like, "Hey, we should probably get rid of these racist books." It's fine. Who I cares? saw some you of did. the drawings. I didn't know you were a big fucking Dr. Seuss fan, bro. And uh, <laughs> and <laughs> and they're also. I heard they're worth that, more money. I, and then saying, "That's yeah, just gonna make the price go up on the ones that exist." There, there might be. T Going after the church for saying amen. Why? Because it, it says men. If oh. that's how we got to get into the so churches to destroy I came them, up with, I'm all for I, it. I came up with a new way. Because so a woman would just be fucking no. ruin it. Yeah, it wouldn't make any sense. Because, <laughs> I mean, they put them in blood, blood shacks in the back of the fucking <laughs> get house, the, dude. Get to the back of the blood whatever, shack, whatever a the fucking woman. B-52 said. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I but I came up with it. I, I can save the church. It'd be a them, a them. <laughs> a the them. Yeah, a them. God damn it! <laughs> See, I'm out here fixing religion. Yeah, a them. Yeah, Rel <laughs> praise religion. be, praise be, a them. <laughs> the Christians are gonna become tolerant all of a sudden. No, it's <laughs> praise. We it's praise we, Matt. <laughs> praise, praise we, we praise a we, them. A them. <laughs> what do the Christians care if people come after they're like not being cool? Like they hate like abortions. I don't know, and gay man. I wonder, if, I wonder if Christian not... will have to change too. It says Chris. <laughs> it's a man's that's name. A, <laughs> no, that, is, that is a gender neutral name. Is it? Uh, yeah. But it's specifically named after one man. Ugh. But Christina uh, could be Chris. No. Yeah, but it wouldn't be a Christian. Yeah, she'd be a Christina Shin. Nobody. But what about but Christopher isn't Christian either. Nobody nobody sold her for fucking silver. Christopher is absolute. That's Listen. like a fucking that's like an apostle bullshit fucking whatever. I hope they go after favorite. that. Christina died for my sins. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a terrible story. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> that digital I hope they go after the church, though. That'd be cool. Yeah. Just, let's see them fucking be them shitty order. about it, and then everyone will be like, hey, maybe religion isn't that cool anymore, and then slowly it'll die. Yeah. Praise we, I mean, praise we. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if they're going to go back and good. if they're going to go back and shit on things because of something in the past, I mean, that would be the perfect uh, stru con fucking construct of reality to fucking go after. Jesus was a simp. Fuck yeah, he was, bro. For the Lord. This <laughs> <laughs> <is> God simp. 
Bible. He did like, everything he told him. Our Bible is fucking sick, Because he expected dude. something at the end of it. <laughs> or, or we what just did he get? What do you get? A fucking spear in the ribs. So we're the new, new, new testament right now? Hey, is that why they're called spare ribs? Yeah. (laughs) Spear in the ribs? Spare ribs? He he said, yeah, like he's super confident about it, but I don't think he actually knows. (laughs) I was just like, Matt's like, Matt's on. He's like, yeah. Ribs now. I was just laughing at Jay's eyes were like fucking yeah. 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 <laughs> that feeling that feeling when you fucking make a breakthrough. Yeah. <laughs> I've learned to fucking huh. read huh. <laughs> I've learned huh. to read people's expressive eyes because of the mask times. That makes And Jay's got super Perfect expressive sense. eyes. It blew his mind. He Perfect blew sense. he blew his own mind and I was enjoying yeah. it. So <clears throat> That's a right. mouth condom. Expressive Pe- eyes is hard to say if you're if you're if you're high up. on weeds. Yeah, expressive eye. Expressive my eyes. eyes are, my eyes are just glowing computer screen. <laughs> <laughs> well, I like that. Sick eye color, bro. Dude. What a, this show is nothing but breakthroughs. Episode one seventy one, the no. breakthrough show. We did it. It's the yeah, it's dude. it's finally the big one. Yeah. Got it out of there. Now we can talk about real topics. <laughs> <laughs> Not oh. the bullshit we normally do. Well, Dylan completely, absolutely fucking hates the name of the fucking one time we're going to get a cool space station that has fake gravity with the ring because they're calling it Voyager. Why would they call it Voyager? Because it's like the first thing we ever sent out of the goddamn solar system. Because they don't give a shit what you think. It's like so many better Star Trek ships. It's not about Star Trek. They named why is it in space? (laughs) (laughs) They should have just done a poll on Facebook. They're clearly ripping off Star Trek with their fucking space station in space, dude. Like, what are you talking about? They literally think they can make a space hotel by 2027, and it's already 2021. What, it, well, look at the Space Force. Their fucking symbol is like a cross between Star Trek and Star Wars. It's kind of like always a perfect been amalgamation of Star Trek uh, and Star Wars. Amalgamation. Amalgi. It's all been done. You know, they're, they're not breaking any barriers with this new space station that they're coming up with. <laughs> Barrier. But, you know. It's been done in fucking movies, but this one's going to be the ring, and it's going to. Oh, you spin- believe space is real, dude? Oh, my God. <laughs> Shit. It's all just the movies, brother. Stop. It's all just the movies. Can you stop smashing me with facts right now? (laughs) Mars bunkers. Fucking Mars bunkers. Uh, That's just Nevada, dude, with the fucking tone over the fucking footage. Fucking forget that Dylan got Dylan got so it's, mad that there there can't be bunkers on Mars. I'm like, you just <laughs> dig a hole and the roof is already there. Like you just dig down. <laughs> no, dude, nope. Mars is just like Dylan said, Mars is just Nevada with a fucking sepia filter on it. <laughs> yeah, dude, every, everybody knows that, idiot. Oh, uh, one of Dylan's favorite uh, another thing we could talk about real quick is a oh, God. Dylan's favorite comedian, Chris D'Elia, faces child He's porn and exploration. My you have a yes. shirt. You have a shirt of his. You have a shirt. Surprise, uh, surprise, I got. Surprise. I got a shirt of fucking lots of things, dude. Does it mean that it's my favorite thing? He used to talk about him all the time, dude. You guys, this guy's so funny. He, he is used to funny. post him all the time. I mean, supporter. I mean, it doesn't take away that he was funny. Yeah, that's true. Well, what was his what was his uh, screen name in uh, Workaholics? Bieber Hole Sixty. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. He played every time he was cast in a role. He was a kind of a pedophile, so that's kind yeah. of funny. He's like, I know how I'll cover this up. I'll play. He was one a pedophile I'm, twi- I'm twice on this- film, once in real life. I don't know, you know. <laughs> Hundreds of fucking videos. Oh, it's like pretending you found a dead body when you know it's really funny. It. What's that? He just put out a video for the first time in like six months, like a week or two ago. Like, hey, I know I've been silent, but working on myself yada yada it was like a you know like a Shit. one of those like this is why i haven't said anything type videos yeah. and then like <laughs> then like a week later they're like here's a part, new one part two <laughs> all right here's should have stayed gone part, longer you dumb fuck part two this is the sequel of the first video i just made the last set us the fucking court documents and like i fucking can't find the file right now but jesus fucking christ 
You know that he was in that Army of the uh, Army of the Dead or whatever movie that's coming out. Yeah. And they uh, they took the chick from Discovery and like she like redid all of his scenes and they just took him out. What what chick from what chick from Star Trek Discovery? The um Tig Tig. Whoa, what's her name? bro! Careful. I can't remember. Oh, her Tig name. Nataro? Yeah. Jesus. Dave Navarro's. <laughs> 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 uh, stupid. Uh, so yeah, they they, they, like, they digitally they removed his ass. And they just took him out, and then she just like redid all the scenes as that character. And they, the fuck? Yeah. They just were like they hey, did that. We're just gonna fucking suck you right out of this movie. Sorry. S- yeah, they're gonna suck him right off that movie. Um, <laughs> they did that with uh, the, the 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 Kevin Spacey guy. He was like. Sh- he was shitty to another Star Trek person, and fucking, they removed his ass and filmed, refilmed all the scenes with somebody else. I don't know how they would do that. CGI man, it's crazy. Yeah, movie yeah. Have, was- you, have you not seen what Jason Bay does to his own face <laughs> or my face? It's fucking. I mean, let's be honest. He probably didn't have a very large role in the movie. He's just a fucking comedian. Yeah. In an in an like an action movie, yeah, you know, like. <laughs> I don't think that he was probably in a lot of scenes. Yeah, like, get rid of him, because none of our kids can visit the set. <laughs> of, oh, it's like family day at the set, and they just everybody yeah. has to leave their kids at home because Krista Lee <laughs> is going to finger them. What did you guys tell him? me about family day? No, <laughs> it he sucks. He was try to fucking fuck our kids. <laughs> dude was fucking weirdo. Dude was mildly funny, but I don't know, man. His like I, most recent special wasn't great, but his other ones are pretty good. I see. I, I I never thought he was funny. I said mildly. Bill Burr's my favorite. I mean, that's. I mean, you can think he's funny. I just. I for me, I didn't. I didn't find the humor. It's like I, I like Mitch Hedberg. You fucking can't stand him. Yeah, absolutely. Because like when he's just talking about you fucking opinions. say it. Don't you even don't. Don't yeah. even do it. Okay. okay. He's gaslighting We know that you. Sprite has more fucking ingredients. <laughs> okay. There's clearly like some salt in there probably and some other shit. <laughs> so we get it, Matt. Don't you fucking ruin. Be. Don't you fucking ruin his jokes. Uh, he's he's getting to you, Dylan. Don't let him do this to you. you no, I'm just. You Mitch. Know. The gas <laughs> is lighting. It's, it rhymes with bitch. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what else, dude. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. He also thinks the right Titanic here. was switched out with another boat and shit. Yeah, the yeah, the, the fucking the Olympic, and I have all the proof. <laughs> Just, Matt's nautical mysteries. <laughs> <laughs> Just follow me one day, and we'll go through all of the evidence, and I'll fucking it's, you'll you'll think so too. It's it's like a uh, it's like a very odd Scooby Doo. It's just him and Bishop fucking on their oh, nautical me, mysteries. Yeah, <laughs> me and Bishop, my dog solving fucking <laughs> oh, with, with, the, Maddie. with like the scuba helmet on, and they're like going yeah. down to the fucking. Yeah. We have our own. Det- it goes to the Titanic and pulls the entire cover off. It's all you're not the Titanic. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying, man, <laughs> don't you fuck with me. I got it down, man. That's so good. Yeah, but we, me and my dog opened a detective firm just to solve... We need a fucking animator on we deck. S- we solve old-ass mysteries, and somebody's like, is my husband cheating on me? I was like, was it 150 years ago? She's like, no, <laughs> it was like maybe last week. I was like, oh, I only take cases that are like super is old. A, <laughs> is he a boat? <laughs> Sorry, I can't help you. Was he a boat that was wrongly sunk for insurance money? <laughs> That seems very specific, sir. <laughs> Your business isn't going to go anywhere, man. I, you don't it, tell me. It doesn't matter. I'll get the fucking COVID PPP loan in like 2048. Imagine that, <laughs> imagine that business card. <laughs> Matt Nisbet. <laughs> <laughs> Nautical mystery seeker. I specialize in and fucking just all of that. Nothing else? No, only old boats that were used for, <laughs> for fucking insurance fraud. Fuck you guys, dude. There's this guy named Patty that fucking listed it all out, and then his kid said it on his deathbed. Oh, it's 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 a, it's a deep, dark. Was there a TikTok about it? No. Then it's not real. 
Actually, you know what? I learned of it from TikTok. Then I did my own. I did my own research. Hey, brother. <laughs> that's a great idea. I just thought of. No, I totally did learn of it from a TikTok conspiracy no. guy. Instead of TED Talks, they're TikToks. <laughs> like you, we could do like a spoof of TED Talks, but TikToks. TikToks, like yes, that's, that's TikToks. Good. That's but good. instead, of, it'd be it'd be like spoof TED Talks. New idea. We fucking we mailed it to ourselves. It's copyrighted. Yeah, yeah, it's on, it's on wax. <laughs> yeah, we, we're totally recording on wax. <laughs> Poor man's <laughs> it's copyright. On wax. We're recording on silicone. <laughs> that's something. That's kind of. We're yeah. recording onto sand right now. So what, how is that any different? It's, Your honor, hold on one second. He's like <laughs> pulling this record out. <laughs> it's all setting up an old like <laughs> phonograph. You get the fucking. I've got it on wax. It. Your honor. Your honor. Your honor. Your honor. And you yeah. get the record scratch after yeah. you after you do. <laughs> he's Matt's like this. He's all. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, I, I'm trying to find the DJ spot. DJ so. set. <laughs> Fuck off. You got a fader and everything. <laughs> Matty J and Chaz says episode one seven one stout dudes make breakthroughs. Yeah, we got it. Yep. You guys are all gonna miss me when I die of titty cancer because I slammed my fucking chest into my car door. <laughs> in my fucking what caused the titty cam, dude. I have a bruise. a million. I have a bruise behind my left nipple, dude, from hitting it on the like the little peak of the door, and it's been bothering me. Cancer works. Well, it feels cancery. <laughs> Is your cell from, from your extensive experience, <laughs> bro? Do you have cells the that feel like they feels just like the last cancer. cancer right I was now. in motion with the car door open to get into the car. The last, the last flight of the BMW, I believe, before it broke down, and the wind blew the door shut as I was walking, and it went think, <laughs> and it dug in so deep, and it just hurts. So BMW that's, a ma- broke that's a down. Maynard, that's a Maynard mishap. It right is there. a Maynard mishap, but when I have, to, when I die of, when I die of male breast cancer, which is embarrassing. <laughs> I mean, I mean, f in chat for females that get it, but it's more, com- it's like less common for dudes. How'd Matt die? His titties failed him. <laughs> His titties got just just done up and left. He got cancer poor. from a car door. <laughs> His poor, poor well, no, I'm hoping that's why there's a bruise and it him. hurts when I go like this. But uh, because oh. you're going like this, <laughs> stop nice. poking at it and it won't hurt. It's been there for like a week and a half, dude, or two. Two, well, yeah. two to a week. Oh, man, it hurts. Trauma lingers sometimes, Matt. Oh, you're telling me my dad called me a fucking f- I get while I watch Thundercats while eating. No, a fucking- that, most of that came out. Um. <laughs> Dropping those four letter entries. <laughs> oh, the one that was like, f- get. No. <laughs> Oh. I that's, well, I, I was I called one. Was I ate cereal watching? Thunder You're Cats. putting the beep in between syllables, not on the, uh, not on the actual. <laughs> Wait, fag <laughs> it. <laughs> Is that no? I don't know how this button worked. I think my button's you're not broken. Suppo- you're not supposed to pause when you're pressing the button. Oh. You're supposed to say it <laughs> behind the, the beep, Matt. <laughs> fag it. No. <laughs> oh, no. I'm sorry. I'm. Oh, I see. I'm not like saying only, it. Looks like, <laughs> looks like only Discord gets to hear this episode. I'm not saying it in hate. I'm saying it as it was hated on me. Get it doesn't. <laughs> I was. I, I figured out how this works now. Sorry. Just move your mouth and don't say anything when you do the beep. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> the fuck to break. Oh. That's much yeah. better. Please. My titty hurts. I gotta go get my. <laughs> like, why does the YouTube video chop weird in that one spot? It's okay. not gonna be. Must you're be. A- big- you're bigger than that. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking cunt! All right, we're gonna. Go. <laughs> oh, I thought you were just gonna go all out that time. I'm fucking nervous now. <laughs> <laughs> Swinging for the fences on that one. Like you oh, lingered. Nope, nope, he, nope, he bunted. You lingered that fucking a little too long. And I'm like, ah, ah. <laughs> his hand's not near the butt. <laughs> oh. Uh, anyway. Oh yeah, one uh, last thing. Um. Hey them. Uh, my old band I canceled is going to have a new album with uh the the first singer. I showed Dylan a clip, and it was pretty cool. So yeah, my, my old and band. I leaked it. My old band Virulent going to have Wait, a thing. Wait, you coming leaked in. it or liked it? 
I leaked it. You leaked it? <laughs> down your leg? You leaked it down his leg. <laughs> what a it fucking... Was, it's in it was, the ether. It was really, really, really good. It's super neat. It's super neat. It's Because all the music was done. Does the second singer know yet? Yeah. He helped me find Alan's last bass track he ever did. Remember, I, I hassled Alan for nine months to record bass for an entire album, and then he sent me one track? <laughs> Jeff, Jeff has <laughs> Jeff has found that one track. <laughs> I have nice. found track. Yeah, so it's kind of cool in there too. So yeah, and I got Soggy, uh, my buddy. Both both our friends are past Alan and Soggy, but I found uh, Soggy's last electronic little jam that's like two minutes long. It's, it's going to be a full fucking thing, and they're working on it. Hell actually, yeah, they're actually working on it right now. I don't know why I looked at a. I don't wear a watch because people <laughs> that wear watches wrists stink. Like. <laughs> smell under your watch, you fucking heathen. Why are you heathens? going around smelling people's watch wrist? <laughs> oh, you fucking wear a watch, don't you? Yeah, fucking pig. Oh, <laughs> fucking watch wearer. I'm just saying, it smells like yeah, a, but it's a pocket watch. It's a small. It's basically a small cast. Yeah, dirty I fucks. Don't wear them. We're gonna wear go to break that business. I'm going to hit the fucking beam out, and hopefully I don't lose where the fucking window went, but we'll see you in a little bit in a second. Bye. Yeah. Tune in every Friday, 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific to ThatMetalStation.com for the most brutal and extreme show on the internet, Walter's Wall of Woe. Walter's Walls of Walter's Walls of Woe? Walter's Wall of Woe? Yeah. Walter's wall of woe. Walter's back walls of woe. Yo, what the fuck? That ain't that ain't cool. Walter's back walls of woe. We're gonna blast beat all over his back walls of woe. Yo, what the fuck, guys? I paid fucking good money for this spot. Is this how you fucking treat your sponsors? <laughs> this better be worth it. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. Well, well, fine. Fuck you guys then. For the rest of you, I don't know. Come. Come listen to my show on thatmetalstation.com. Did I remember how to do the show, Dylan? I don't know. Is the shit recording? It is. Yes, it's recording. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> Damn. Thank you, everybody, for hanging out in the Discord. Beautiful people. Uh, that was a... Uh, you, can't, you can't... Yeah, you can't reference Marilyn Manson anymore. Easy, dude. Oh, I forgot Marilyn Manson got canceled because for some mm-hmm. reason people thought it was safe to date him. Cause he's I think he was abusing Johnny Depp, right? Is that what? Yeah. He oh, he Johnny. fingered Johnny he, he Depp. He was shitting on Johnny yeah. Depp's bed. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wait, no, that's his own broad. Damn. <laughs> anyway, the commercial you just heard was for Walter's Wall of Woe. Walter's Wall of Woe. It's a Whoa. He sent Whoa, me a- Blossom. He sent me a little video, not like a like he has like a, you know, like the the Facebook cover photos that are you can do videos on them sometimes. Yeah, 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 yeah. He sent me a little thing, so now I can I can have a an, an anima- animated nice. thing in his thing now. Ours is yeah. animated. There's bugs crawling all over the logo. That's true. I, I made that, that before I was part of this fucking train wreck. Anyway. Walter's Wall of O, check it out. It's a it's a internet radio station of metal, and he's a good dude, and we love him. He is a good dude. What's we up? We do love him. Have you ever listened to he's Walter's Wall of Woe? There you go. That's that's, that's he, he he is a good looking gentle man. Um, everybody in the Discord, if you want to see live, uh, you click on my name. There's a little live icon in the the Discord. Um, you can view this. You can view everything because this is a segment. Oh, look at this. Viewing. Oh, viewing. Oh, look at this. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, look at that. <laughs> look at that. Look at that. Yeah. Look at that. You want y'all look at that? Everybody sends us their f- fucking things they want us to check out. Mm-hmm. Might have a fast one this week. Might have a long one. Mm-hmm. Uh, we find stuff. They find stuff. As long as we don't watch a fucking forty-five minutes of that guy, just where you gotta shake your balls down. That was good. (laughs) Yeah, your ball ankles and your fucking your taint calves. Yeah, (laughs) Dylan, that guy was funny. You were just tired. Jay was over it more than I was. Mm, 
I don't know. I was I have, over it. I have the documents, dude. Mm. Jay was like, give me my 45 minutes back. Yeah, yes. I wanted that time. Hey, All of that time you're back. Fine. Everybody's fine. I don't, don't think you I got do it. it. He's going to play it again. Yeah, just play it again. <laughs> yeah, it's, that's going to be this whole segment tonight. Just that one fucking guy. That guy was intense in an Argo studio space just talking about how you got to shake yeah. down to your... <laughs> it was like his buddies, his buddies in a band and let him borrow the space for the night while they were fucking playing a show. Hey, people commented on it and I got a lot of good reviews about it, so... Go lose about an hour of your life. Go listen to the last episode. It's not an hour. It's like hour 16 or something. I think we watched that guy. Hey, everybody in the Discord live spit. said that to keep going when I said, should we cut it? And it was like, no, keep going. We're going. We're flying through it. Anyway, NFHCpodcast at gmail.com. You can email them. There's many opportunities to send us things that you want us to see. Heart of Tanks starts this week's out. This. Raindrops on roses and whiskers on kittens. Sticking my dick in rotisserie chickens. <laughs> Damn. A lot of stuff's coming through from TikTok because apparently that's just our lives now. But yes, this, oh, I like that one. Good job, Heart of Tanks. Um, oh, I found this one. <laughs> it's a bear. <laughs> it's... <laughs> <laughs> this bear apparently can smell retards. It's you. <laughs> <laughs> it's super uh, stupid, man. Uh, oh my that's god. pretty good. <laughs> I don't think everybody down. Oh, shit, I might be missing some. Anyway, Travis Legion from uh, Roast More Tom sent us this bad boy. <laughs> what the fuck oh my god what is that oh, wait it's a penis snake um it's that crazy p- I, are past- we gonna get fucking flagged for that <laughs> i don't think so that is a <laughs> that is a Pause. underwater creature or something this is that guy this Bro, is that- i don't know if that's what that is this is that creepy fucking uh pastor dude well they're all creepy but this one's COVID 19 yeah <laughs> He who knew no sin Get this was made to be sin to be sin What 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 is sin? It's it's the nature of the devil The devil is that one sin from the very beginning He's the one that broke off How I know Well you know that you know Dude this guy's fucking nuts You know that that you know You uncircumcised Philistine. You uncircumcised That snake looks like a dick for like for real. Yeah, yeah. It's perfect timing for the uncircumcised Philistines. They still got their dick neck on their This guy looks like he's made out of wax and plastic. He is. He he looks like the devil. You let the devil in the backseat. He's gonna want to drive. And you're in. (laughs) (laughs) I I know that. I mean, I can literally feel it. I I can feel. I was already a big boy now. Just comes and comes and comes and comes and comes. (laughs) 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 We need to sample that, Dylan. (laughs) I was already a big boy now. Just comes. Fuck me up, Daddy. <laughs> this is the best fucking video, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> I, I get what they're doing with the turtles with the uncircumcised. Yeah, I feel like that's what my wiener looks like when I stand up and stretch in the morning. Like it's just it like makes an appearance. <laughs> Who does he think he is? You uncircumcised. Who does he think he is? You 
crazy. It's a genius using the turtles, man. I don't know. I can't stop yeah. staring at them. <laughs> what, what turtles? What the fuck, bro? What the fuck, bro? That's great. Check out what the fuck, bro. That's awesome. Fuck. You need to sample the part where he's like, you're a big boy. <laughs> and he comes and comes and comes and comes. <laughs> <laughs> good send. Good send. Travel. Oh. oh. Sausage. I'm hungry. Oh, I found this on TikTok. If you took the volume of all the titties in the world, every single one of them. All right, this is my time to shine. This is the math we're doing. If you took the volume of every titty on planet Earth and then equally distributed those titties amongst the entire population of Earth, how much titty would each individual get? Average volume of a titty is 540 milliliters <laughs> times two. Then you're going to multiply that number by 3.82 billion people. That gives you 4.125 trillion milliliters of titty in the world. <laughs> you're going to divide that by the population, which is 7 billion, which means that each individual would have 526 milliliters of titty. Divide that by two titties. That means everyone on planet Earth would get two titties, each with a volume of 273 milliliters. And just for a frame of reference, the average volume of the human <laughs> mouth is 71.2 milliliters if we equally distributed titties amongst the entire population we could essentially give every person on planet earth a mouthful of titties <laughs> see checks out i was saying that tiktok can be used for educational purposes yeah. and i'm not fucking wrong dude titty math titty, yeah, math. titty distribution it's just the titty distribution uh, particles oh. The, oh. yeah titty titty particles if that was the math you had to do for your prerequisites, you'd have been good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, it was. I want my share. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Here's the next one I found. Men be fine as hell than boom. Rainbow light up keyboard and two monitors. Interesting. Women be fine as hell than boom. Show up with three other men's kids. <laughs> Weird. Side note: our our computers tend to light up too. You should probably. Jot that down. Do I lose any more fine points by having <laughs> not probably won? Jot that, down. <laughs> jot that down. Do I lose any more fine points by having not one, not two, but three monitors? Also, how are you going to forget that the mouse also glows? Dumb bitch. Have a great day with your judgy ass. Okay, bye. <laughs> Have a great day with your judgy <laughs> ass. Goodbye. That stupid tweet. Yeah, men be fine as hell than boom. Rainbow light up keyboard and two monitors. As I have five monitors and multiple light up keyboards. <laughs> I was fine as hell once. It's not happening Dumb no more. Bitch. Dumb bitch. Old man Rogers is going to get us out of here to this. Uh... Please do at this if you can blow a duck call better. <laughs> is this oh, a no. challenge? <laughs> <laughs> this bitch just twerked a fart out. Oh no! <laughs> they just be crazy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. she did the better duck call. Oh, oh look at this! Oh, look at that! Look at that! Oh, oh look at that! Oh, <laughs> look at that! Look at that! <laughs> look at that! Yeah. Look at that. Would y'all look at that? We looked at it. We looked it and heard it. Mm-hmm. You look at it, you hear it, you send it to nfhcpodcast at gmail .com. That's what you do. You send it. You can find all of our contacts infos on nfacpodcast.com. It's a website that um, our boy that yells at us during a Warzone match has built. Mm -hmm. Everybody give it up to Sharsh. I give a round, a round of applause to Sharsh. We're actually doing this, huh? Yeah. Right. He built our website fucking idiot he yells at us in warzone matches soft shitter he doesn't yell at me i saw that no, boy i saw that boy he just, check he, out. Just, he just i yelled makes me feel like an idiot 
<laughs> I saw that boy check his heartbeat sensor in Warzone in the center of a parking lot, and he's like, oh, that guy. I was like, check it on behind cover. It's fine. It's fine. Sounds like somebody's got a problem. It's fine. It was a late night last night, Dylan. You were sleeping because you have, oh, I got a new job. Uh. I wasn't sleeping. I just wasn't playing video games. <laughs> oh, what's that new girl doing? I, I played I with Alaz. I just couldn't sleep. That's why I'm <laughs> tired right now. Yes. We're all tired on NFACpodcast.com. That's where we're tired at. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's where you can find all of our tires. Uh, you can find all of our tires there, Borther. I gotta just pull up the fucking thing, man. Our retireds? Yeah, we can say that now. I think I can say that whenever I want. Uh, you, you can do whatever you want at any time. I can say reti- retired. <laughs> <laughs> if you'd like to support the show, it's patreon.com forward slash NFAC podcast. Everybody that fucking supports helps us immensely. Appreciate you. Dylan is Yo, doing please. a killer job on all the videos. Mm-hmm. So we're going to start a extra little clip segment thing possibly going here. You can see his, his luscious face being processed by the silicone that y'all bought. It's fucking, it's rad. Look at him. Look at yeah. him. Look at him right now. Stout. Yeah, look at him. This show is brought to you by <laughs> Dylan. Patreon fans. <laughs> it totally is. Thank you, everybody, that helps us out. Uh, the last place you can fucking tell us about stuff is the voicemail. It's 480-787-330. But Matty J's goes before that with this week's What That Dick Do. Fucking time. Yeah, he goes every other week now. It's a lot of work, man. It, no, it's, dude, it started we do it every week. He can do it every week. It started. No in the, excuse, Matty J. It started in the voicemail, and then it became produced. And I know, but it's so good. It, I, I'm not the only one bitching and moaning about it. Everybody wants it all the time. Everybody I get that does. a lot too. I know how it feels. Yeah, uh, we it's want. Like uh, <laughs> Dylan knows how it feels, brother. You know, you haven't. You don't know how. You haven't had that feel for a while. Damn. Damn. Are you going to let him talk to you like this? Your, your KDR is yeah. better than him, and you're going to let him talk to you like this. His KDR is not better than mine. Okay, we'll see you on the apps out there. But <laughs> Let's do this real quick, and then we'll get into voice morals. Matty J, what that dick do? Well, hello, and welcome back to the show where we say, screw Carpe Diem, seize the perineum. It's what <laughs> that dick do. Get out of here, dude. <laughs> 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 Good evening, your host Matty J here, and this week we find out what's Matt Stick going do now that he's single. <laughs> going do? Let's head to the Failure Palace, sit down on the ouch couch, and brainstorm some ideas. So, he had a couple months to get all those sad boy hate bait sessions out of his system. He has pulled himself up by his bootstraps, and he's ready. He's got a new place, contemplating haircuts. Hell, he even started to work out. And by workout, I don't mean his usual 12 to 24 ounce curls he does every night. Uh, but this isn't what that bicep do. Speaking of working out, here's my first idea. Next time you're going to that planet of fitness, bring a flask full of that sweet, sweet Jameson. Mm. Now all you have to do is find one broad, you know the one, sitting at the juice bar, probably looks slightly pissed. Saunter over and say, Looks like that acai hemp seed smoothie could use a kick. <laughs> well, after a couple smashes of that loose juice, she's going on telling you about how her ex is bailing on his weekend with loose juice. Oh, <laughs> fuck! I didn't mean to play. Here we go. <laughs> after a couple splashes of that loose juice, she's going on telling you about how her ex is bailing on his weekend with <laughs> little Bryson. Well, after a couple more glugs of that cooter Kool Aid, whispered into his sweaty ear, live, laugh, love. And before you know it, those Lycra yoga pants are sliding off like a diver's wetsuit, and you're inhaling her hot yoga musk. Stinks. <laughs> After you get in a couple sets of pelvic thrusts while she's downward dogging, the only curl she'll be doing is curling her dips around that thick dick. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I'm just throwing out ideas brainstorming. I got one. Check this out. Homeless chicks. Yeah. 
I mean, Jay was all about one hot homeless chick, so we we know they exist. Yeah, they do exist. Fuck yeah, they Pack do. of smokes, forty-four ounce polar pop. Well, then you pop out the wet naps, and her Circle K feet will be scratching your sideburns. <laughs> I know what you're thinking, Jay. That's not the only thing that will be itching and burning, but it still counts. Oh. You know what? <laughs> Let's ramp up that last idea. Find a hot homeless chick who hangs out near a Circle K where the broad work in the counter is kind of hot. Not like QT hot, but hotter than West Valley Valero hot. <laughs> Valero? Anyways, she sees you buying this homeless girl yes. sodas and smokes. She's all like, dang, that's really sweet. Next thing you know, she's like, I think it's really cool what you're doing. This one is on me. It won't be long before she just hands you the bathroom key and gives you the Jason Bay eyes. <laughs> then bam, she is bent over the diaper changing station. Oh. And you're trying not to come by reading Joker's a puto scratched on the bathroom wall. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Joker's a puto. <laughs> That's good. Joker's a puto scratched on the bathroom wall. Well, at this point, there's nothing left to do but head to the car wash next Fuck. door. You're going to need to do some vacuuming. I mean, in this steamy scenario, you have now banged the hot homeless chick, the Circle K chick. I never once mentioned any kind of protection. No. I mean, did you even notice that the hot clerk's name tag matched the name you saw on the bathroom wall? It was probably a stripper name given to her by her stripper mom. <laughs> and you're over here pumping premium straight into her fart tank bareback. There are gonna be some crotch critters. I guess we're just really trying to get you back out there, buddy. <laughs> you're a champion. You use a condom. <laughs> Don't be Dylan, but have fun, Border. <laughs> well, that's been our episode for this week. Man, I'll keep brainstorming on the ways to get Matt's dick back out there doing bad things. <laughs> but if anybody has any ideas, go ahead and send them to what that dick do at gmail.com <laughs> or call 480 788 7330. Pretty soon, I'm going to be holding some tryouts for what Jay liked to call the Dick Olympics. Let's see if we can get past that pesky German judge. <laughs> but until then, I'm your host, Matty J, once again asking, Bro. What that dick do? Yeah. Boners. Boners. You got to get that dick out there mingling. What that dick do? <laughs> mingling. Yeah, silver. Mingling. What's funny is that Slinger. story's not too far off <laughs> about the banging the chick from uh, the gas station. Our, our old boy, our old drummer from Brick, yeah, <laughs> snatched that one up from Seven Eleven. Yeah, he totally did. Damn, <laughs> and took us back to her fucking murder shack. <laughs> <laughs> her murder like, shack, dude. I felt like we. It felt like it was gonna be like one of us goes to the bathroom, doesn't come back, and then everybody has to search for him, and then gets stuck in like random rooms, and is and is gonna get chopped up. When the whole time our drummer's getting fucking getting domed from a fucking homeless fucking <laughs> or a transient, whatever she was. Is this the premise for nuts. Saw? Yeah. It, pretty much. Like that's That was only on like Dude, that was on like Bell and Thirty First Avenue. Yeah. And we went back to like the people a- under the stairs house. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> The uncle, remember, totally like the uncle or dad that was walking around had cur- like curly shoulder length hair, fat, and a white wife beater, <laughs> and like sp- he kind of looked like Carl from Aquatine. He, he totally did. <laughs> We're like, who the fuck is that? And he was just like groaning. It seemed like a house from a horror movie because there was no houses next to it, and the backyard had no like fence, so it was just Mm-mm. like development, like limbo. Like it was it just. Was at- <laughs> and it was like poorly, poorly lit. Like <laughs> it was so poorly lit, and it yeah. smelled like cat piss so bad. Oh, uh, awful! <laughs> the it, stairs going up is all. We went to like, grab uh, like just some quick eats and like a six pack, and then he got blown by that we, weird chick. We, yeah, we came out, and he's like, "We're gonna give her a ride home." <laughs> like, what are we doing? <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> come on, guys, just come inside. Bro, are you are you shitting me right now? <laughs> that yeah, was I mean, so it, weird. Oh man! For all we know, that could have been like a halfway home. Yeah, dude. <laughs> you know what I mean? It was totally uh, weird, like a horror dude, movie. Somebody, fucking... 
a fucking a, a known sex offender definitely lived in that house. And we brought one there. <laughs> 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 Allegedly, no. How it's I, not true? How do I say it? Oh, anyway, shit. Fuck. Uh, it was the nineties. Doesn't count. Shit. <laughs> it was the doesn't if count. If that were the case, we'd all be. <laughs> oh, mine always consensually went into things. It's fine. Oh, we're going here. The voicemails. She fucked it up. Seven eight eight seven three three zero. That's where you leave us the voicemails. We listen mm-hmm. to damn sh. Yes. Let's see here. Here's the first voicemail of the week. So I'm at work listening to the newest episode, and my boss walks over to me and hears the phrase. Something about your mouth is similar to the vagina skin, and therefore we should fish hook him in both his happy areas. Yeah. <laughs> I, I bring medical facts to the show week in and week out. He looked at me and then walked the fuck away. So <laughs> now my mom thinks that I'm two steps closer to Jeffree Star, and... I probably won't get that promotion because he's scared I'm going to butt rape him. Have a good day, boys. Keep up the amazing work. Thank you, sir. We are a headphone kind of podcast. (laughs) 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 Like, we mix it for the hi-fi, but uh, earbuds. (laughs) Earbuds, bud. It's like when you cuss in front of a kid, you're all, earmuffs? Earmuffs? (laughs) It happens. That's the next voicemail of the week. Hey, guys. Adam from Houston here. Adam! You know... Uh, Jay's totally right about the peanuts and Coke thing. Oh, it's yeah. not just a Texas thing, it's a South thing. Uh, my granddad was telling me how he used to do it whenever he was uh, working on the farm in Kentucky. Went out picking peaches with the man one day and yeah, put some, pe- drink a little bit of the Coke, put some peanuts in it. It gives it like a, you know, a salty sweet flavor, which is pretty decent. <sighs> and the peanuts are still crunchy at the bottom of it. And you just kind of turn up the bottle and crunch on some peanuts. Apparently, whenever you're working out in the field, and your hands are all dirty. It's a way to eat peanuts without getting them dirty. Oh, uh, later, guys. Bonus. Damn, dude. That's that's how it. That's how the peanuts and coke started. Just working them fields. Yeah, and you get a little sodium back in your body. Boost them electrolytes. Yeah, You're fucking hydrated. Salt's not bad for you because it need you need salt to deliver the electricity through your body. Something like that. As Science. we as we learned in the previous voicemail before Adams. I'm a health science master that's dying of titty cancer from this episode. Like, it all happens. Thank you, Adam. Uh, Adam has a new podcast. Uh, it's called Who Gives a Shit? WGA. Dude, what's the name? WGA Who Shit video? Show. Oh, oh, I see what you're doing, Dylan. Yeah. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's cool shit. Check it out. On the, tw- uh, the Twitter has the links. Here's the next voice of the week. So I'm, I'm listening to episode 169, self cleaning, dude. I accidentally listened to 170, and then went back to 169 because I'm fucking riri. So, anyways, <laughs> yes, I have gotten a semi while pooping. So <laughs> this is Jay's category right here. Yeah, see, we're out there. I have got- <laughs> we're out there. Yeah, gotten a semi while pooping. So <laughs> my disclaimer is, I hugged myself and said, "No homo." Because my asshole was getting stretched out, and my VV was like, woo But the disclaimer is that it wasn't like a full hard-on. It was just like the Percocet feels really warm and fuzzy level of thick cock. So maybe. I don't know. I said no homo, so I, I, I don't know. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I don't know, so but. See, this is how it, this is how it's the no homo because it's your poops leaving you, not going back up in you. It's leaving you, so it's okay. 
So when he kisses you, know you know on I mean? the neck and says good night, it's like fine. Like, oh, he's yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah. Is that how it works, Dylan? Kings. Kings. I guess. Kings. I, mean, I, don't, I kings. don't make the rules, man. Kings stretching out kings. That's a good episode time. I mean, is it? <laughs> we got to we got to che- check up on our kings, and if that's me, if that means we got to whisper softly to them to make them feel comfortable, and that's what we do. Yeah. right on the nape of their fucking neck, <laughs> right? Because yeah, that's where that's where it counts the most. Next voicemail okay, of the week. Thank you for Matt, the call. Are you doing okay, buddy? Thank you everybody for the call. I just need to make sure you're doing. <laughs> hey. Hey. That's what it would sound like if I came up behind you and whispered uh, softly into your ear and then kissed you. You go into my ear and says, yeah. <laughs> You're so close, uncomfortably uh, close to your mic, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Matt, Dylan, and Jay, executive producer Randy of the Rich Dickman Show Randy. here. How's it going? Good. On behalf of Mr. Rich Dickman, I would like to personally invite you all to join. Sorry, I'm out of breath. I'm taking a shit. Uh, join. Our- <laughs> That's your dick heart? Do you, you have a half boner? <laughs> yeah. Not a full. It's not, it's not like a full one. It's like a half yeah. one. All right. Here we go. To join. Sorry, I'm out of breath. I'm taking a shit. Uh, to join our 150th episode extravaganza this coming Thursday. Oh. We'll be inducting the vulner- venerable Huel Hauser into our newly established Hall of Fame, as nice. well as debuting our first ever Rich Dickman branded non-porn porno. Hell yeah! We'd love for you to stop by and chat for a few minutes about cum ejaculation, withholding ejaculation, making male kegels. Yep. And when it's meagles, I call them. <laughs> mm-hmm. Meagles. <laughs> cool. So your friends the, that you is that a Harry Potter thing? <laughs> Not being that's, able to come because or whatever uh, Harry Potter said. <laughs> that's your SoundCloud rapper name, <laughs> Meagle. Oh, fucking one hung Meagle. Ah. I bet you- <laughs> <laughs> that's that really bad with me. It did because <laughs> I say all the non hot things that happen. It's fine. Use <laughs> not to come versus not being able to come because you jerk off too much. Mm. Hope to see you there. RichDigman.com for more info. Boners. Boners! Oh, wait, there's an amendment here. Oh. Uh, versus not being able to come with a woman or man because you jerk off too much. Mm-hmm. I think I was supposed to read that instead. Oh. Anyway, <laughs> uh, yeah, come to our 150th episode because it'll be cool. And we think you guys are cool. Yeah. And you wish me happy birthday, you guys, and mm. I appreciate that. Yeah. And, uh, I'm done. I'm done with this voicemail now. Oh, Bye. That's a good one. Yeah, no, Matt. Matt and I did. Yeah. 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 Dylan had a great Dylan, Dylan had a Dylan, shit. Dylan had a great one in his mind he didn't tell anybody about. Yeah. yeah. yeah that's an easy story to tell. Man. <laughs> yeah, dude. I uh Bro. dude, I was totally uh it was fucking I was totally gonna get married to the super hot model. But you know. I yeah, no. Didn't. Well <laughs> I forgot I forgot. No, yeah, I forgot time. I forgot to ask her. I think it's roughly 7 p.m. our time. I'll, I'll, I'll fucking hang out. Want to hang out? Uh, this Thursday. They're 150. Sure. Evi- they're, they're 150 extravaganza. What, they got some kind of like Discord or something? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are you guys on? Is some Huel kind of a. going to be on the show? I don't doubt know. It. I doubt it, man. That guy's like. That guy's super guys, important out of nowhere. Those guys are just hyping the hype. They, it, everyone wants Heel Hauser. They're not going to get Heel Hauser. <laughs> they're going to get Rem. Uh, <laughs> wouldn't that be great if we got Huel? Oh, like, yeah. We were able to like pull Huel. For a whole episode. Oh, I need to try. How do we do that? I'm just yeah. kidding. Rem sent me a we nice could, message we could, the other day. We could put it behind a paywall for his for his safety. For his safety. His, yeah. uh, <laughs> we can put a voice changer on him so nobody knows it's Huel. <laughs> yeah. They'll know. They'll know. All They'll the wacky know. shit he says. Yeah, but we just uh, do it behind the paywall. Doesn't make its way. Fucking. <laughs> out, out there. Uh, this one says transcription not available. Because there was no transcription available. Empty's cutting. Uh, this. I'll check after. Oh, my God. Check F and chat. I will check again uh, after this 
but this might be the last voicemail. Here Matt we go. Just had to, Matt just had to write himself. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I haven't. I haven't been. Drink- <laughs> <laughs> I haven't been. Dr- <sighs> um, I haven't been drinking a lot between shows, so it shows on shows how yeah. much I haven't been drinking between shows. <laughs> You just reset your mm-hmm. router. I did. Yeah. <laughs> I stuck a fucking tiny pin in my little hole <laughs> to get <laughs> Here, hold on. Here's this might be the last voice. Fuck off. This might be the last voice. <laughs> hey hey Dylan, I heard your your kid like got his hand severed or whatever. Oh. And I just want to tell you, man, uh it's okay because uh because the drug <laughs> The drummer for Def Leppard, uh, he didn't even have an arm, bro, and he was he was a drummer, yeah. and he like made money, yeah. uh, and that's cool. Yeah, so, let me, yeah. Let Fuck me tell you, you something about speak. the drummer of Def Leppard. Yeah, he grabbed his wife by one arm. And, and dragged her, her into airport. a fucking airport bathroom and beat the fuck out of her with one arm. Did he? Yeah. Oh, that's, I didn't know that. that's, that's how you know men are superior. <laughs> I was just going to say that he had two arms. At one point. He had two arms when he learned how to play drums, and so it wasn't like it was like a tough thing. He already knew how to do it, so fuck him. <laughs> and he had a pedal that he could make a snare happen with. Like, bitch, fucking get out of here. Creamy goodness says, what has seven arms and sucks? Def Leppard. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, let me check this again just to make sure that was the last, the actual last one. Yeah, it's only seven arms. What was that band that had the chorus that was like, the drummer from Death Leopard only has one arm. The drummer from Death Leopard only has one arm. Yeah, Bloodhound Hound Gang. Yeah. <laughs> they they were a good, uh, they were a good band. The Blood Death Leopard? No, the Blood Hound Gang. <laughs> Thank you, everybody that called in, 480-787-330. Thank you, everybody that contributes to the Patreon at patreon.com forward slash NFAC podcast. We owe a bonus episode because there ain't there, there just ain't enough days in February to do anything. Yeah, it's over. Already. It's over. It's over. Gee, that month is history. Yeah, that month I is... I still paid the same amount of rent, even though there was less days in the month yeah. that I should have you know so i don't really get that but uh and i I guess we should murder everybody i have to get out of this place i'm packing i'm painting i'm fucking moving we shall make it up (sighs) our apologies but we love you guys thank you very 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 much we shall sexually assault dylan with these these buttery tones let us eat your pussy dylan G- gimme, give gimme, give gimme, <laughs> give, gimme, give it to me. Yes. Uh, podcast dot com. That's where mm, all me, baby. of it happens. What that dick do dot com. What that dick do dot com. Send yeah. Maddie J some suggestions. He's a goddamn treasure, yeah. and like he does so much work, and we love him so many times tell, over. Tell and, him a story. And when Maybe coof ta- when coof work. times are over, we'll have him in the in the cut for real. We can probably get him in the cut. Dude, alive the, the, we what could, that dick do? We could probably get him a digitally uh, digitally in the cut. Yeah. Well, uh, imagine if we got him to do a live what that dick do. Yeah. We're working on having a roast mortem on the show and a stereos on the show coming up fairly soon-ish. Somebody made a Twitter account just to tell us to have a stereos on the show. Yeah. So that's, you know, that's dedication. He's a we gentle man. Mm-hmm. The gentlest. Yeah. Man. The, gen- oh, man. the gentlest of men. So, yes, thank you, everybody that listens uh, week in and week out. That's episode 171. We did it. We got through it. We're going to end it. <laughs> the, the episode. With uh, the episode. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Sorry. <laughs> in case anybody's worried, because I drank a bit this this. Yeah. Uh, phew having a hard time hosting here boys uh we're gonna get out of here to the band corinne with the song captive they're dope i like them because uh Cause they're good. i like i don't know what happens sounds a lot like karen uh, karen corinne it's k-o-r-i-n-e 
Corinne. Corinne? Corinne. Corinne. <laughs> Corinne. What, 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 <laughs> what, uh, what, what kind of people was that, Matt? <laughs> Corinne. It's <laughs> not like a fucking voiceover actor in fucking Yakuza. <laughs> right. Anyway, the band, I don't know how to say him, fucking Corinne with the song Captive. I really like this band, they're dope. Uh, NFHpodcast.com. Thank you, everybody. I hope you have the most splendid weeks and month. Yeah. Love you all. Be dope to each other. Bye, Dylan. Bye, Bye Jay. Bye. 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 You are